We will now demonstrate how to correctly install a swivel base onto a Lazy Boy chair. Before flipping the chair and upholstery over on a potentially abrasive surface, we'll start by laying a protective material down. An easy way to unlock the back is to flip the chair halfway over. A flathead screwdriver makes it easy to get under and pry up the cam locks. Make sure you pull evenly on each side of the back when you take the back off so it comes off smoothly. Notice the back is also placed on something protective while the installation is completed on the base of the chair. You can now flip the chair upside down resting it on its arms. Grab the rocker blocks provided to you and with one arm expand the front spring by pushing down on the rocker base. With the other arm, insert the rocker blocks to front of the left and right side rocker springs. Now, repeat the same step with the back side of each rocker spring, but by pulling up on the rocker base instead. Grab your drill and long extension with a T25 bit and remove the screws that attach the rocker springs to the rocker base. There is three on each side. Set the screws aside in an obvious place. It's easy to have a few screws loose that'll get away from you. Now you're ready to flip the rocker base over towards you, and using the same drill and T25 bit, remove the last two screws that attach the rocker base to the Paul sub-assembly and set the rocker base aside. Your new top half of the swivel base will have the same pre-drilled holes as the rocker base you just took off. It's much easier to attach the Paul sub-assembly if you rest the base on the frame of the chair. Now, using your drill and T25 bit, drill in the screws that attach the Paul sub-assembly to the swivel base. Flip the base over and line up the holes in the base with the holes in the rocker springs. All screws should go into the middle holes of the rocker spring. Now, go ahead and start drilling your screws. If you're not able to line up all the holes, you might have to loosen up the ones you were able to line up, and that will give you some stretch to line up the stubborn one. Now go ahead and take out the rocker blocks. If you try and go too fast, it's very easy to forget to take these out before you finish. But trust me, you'll know when you sit down on the chair and it won't rock. Certain styles of chairs can require spacers on either the back or the front between the swivel plate and pie and swivel rocker base, depending on the pitch of the chair. If the chair tips forward, the spacers go in the front. If the chair feels like it's tipping backwards, add the spacers to the back instead. You're now ready to install the bottom half of the swivel, which has the swivel plate and swivel pie. This pie isn't safe for consumption.
Using your drill and short extension with T30 bit, go ahead and drill in the four bolts included with the swivel base. This attaches the bottom to the top half of the base. The swivel base is much heavier than the rocker base. When you flip the chair over, do so with caution because the chair will slam down if it isn't braced firmly. Now with the base of the chair right side up, attach the back to the base. The back side of the back bracket is longer than the front side which makes it easy to rest then rotate and slide down. Now grab your flathead screwdriver and tap down the cam locks to lock the back to the chair. If it won't flip down, then check and make sure the back is all the way down. Congratulations, you're finished.